weird thing to be celebrating like the 10 year anniversary of something. We still, you know, as I said, like we don't mind playing these songs now. It's, it's pretty fun that they still hold up 10 years later. A lot of our influences, our maturity as individuals, it kind of all came together right before that record and I think birthed something that we thought was kind of cool. We had like three albums to kind of learn from and then this fourth album I think is when it all kind of came together. What Hoops brought and brings to Reliant K is he would help balance out my cheesy nerdiness that um, I can't seem to escape from. I've always appreciated Matt Hoops' taste in music. Uh, he always showed me the best stuff. When I bring a song to him, and it's not that cool, he's gonna try and find a way to, to make it a little bit better. And he uh, just always does that. I mean, he's got his taste and his taste is great. When Dave joined the band, it was a really great addition because we were able to use his vocals like with our stuff and it was fun to write parts, you know, knowing that Dave was gonna end up singing them and his drumming is great too, so. I think the Mm Hmm record was really uh, a great spot for us figuring out where to plug Dave in, and uh, he really did deliver some great lead vocals. I think we just finished our third album and put it out not not too long before we started cracking on the mm -hmm record and uh, I don't know it's back then it was 2004 we we were trying to put out a record every year fortunately though uh, I haven't changed so much that the lyrics don't apply to me anymore they still do sometimes the song will hit you different even though you've been playing it for years uh, and it becomes I don't know really real if we're on stage and we get to play and there's people singing along um, Pretty stoked to just be a part of that at that moment. Thank you guys.